Welcome to another episode of our Japan series. As you know, the aging population of Japan is becoming a growing challenge. In addition, the birth rate is on the decline, which means the number of potential workers is decreasing in Japan. To combat this problem, Japan is heavily invested in robotics. In this video, we will quickly explore the evolution of robots in order to understand why Japan is a superpower of robotics and why Japanese robots are conquering the world. Who doesn't know the coolest killer androids that were featured in the Dragon Ball series, Android 17 and Android 18? Hmm. Hardly surprising, considering she is my twin sister. An android is a robot that resembles a human. From science fiction movies to present reality, this is the Japanese story of androids. In 1967, the Wabot Project was started at Waseda University, Japan. In 1972, the first android, the Wabot-1, made its appearance to the world. This robot could move, see, and talk, however it only had the mental capabilities of a one-and-a-half-year-old child. Bite my shiny metal ass! Bring it on, baby! In 1984, Wabot 2 made its entry with a number of improvements. Surprisingly, it was capable of playing musical instruments like the piano. It was able to do so thanks to its 10 awesome fingers and its ability to read musical notes put in front of it. Then in 1986, the Japanese automotive company Honda Motors kickstarted its own research and development program in robotics. Fortunately, as a result of their efforts, the world saw a cute astronaut robot in October 2000. And everyone knew his name, Asimo. Asimo was capable of interacting with humans successfully, if in a limited capacity. In 2015, Asimo was considered the most advanced humanoid robot in the world. In 2014, a Japanese company, SoftBank Robotics, also unveiled a semi-humanoid robot named Pepper. <laughs> which are currently used as a receptionist at several offices, personal assistants in thousands of Japanese homes, and full-time employees in banks, medical facilities, and clothing retail. Pepper does more than expected. It even worked as a waiter in restaurants and cafes, and performed as cheerleaders during the Olympics. One final story is of Toyota, that was already producing industrial robots since the 1980s. In 2005, they released partner robots, which were capable of playing music in a group. After that, in 2017, Toyota unveiled 1.5 meter tall robot THR3 that were physically strong third generation humanoid robots. THR3 was designed to be used in medical facilities, construction sites, disaster affected areas, and even in space. Actroid. To be honest, I don't know which actors are my favorite. If I had to choose, some of them would probably be Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hanks, Robert Downey Jr., or perhaps Tom Cruise. But sooner or later, robots could be taking their jobs too. These robots are known as Actroid, and they look exactly like us, or perhaps even more beautiful. These Actroids are developed and being perfected by Osaka University and Kokoro Company Limited. 
The first Actroid appeared in the 2003 International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, Japan. The robot looked like a young woman of Japanese descent and could mimic lifelike human behaviors such as blinking, speaking, and breathing. These Actroid models are pretty interactive with humans and can recognize different faces, voices, and even many types of touches. While talking, these Actroids continuously move their head, blink their eyes, and even give off the appearance of breathing. Interestingly, the skin of these Actroids look very real because it's made of silicone rubber, which is highly elastic material. The compressed air inside the robot causes movements in the servo motors of the hands and legs. Actroid is still evolving, but to be honest, it is happening at a much faster rate than Darwin's theory of evolution for most living creatures. For example, Geminoid HI-1 was released on July 2006. Two months later, on October 2006, Actroid DER-2 model was released. Two years later, on October 2008, Actroid DER-3 Evolve model was released. One year later, on November 2009, Actroid Sarah was released. Two years later, on October 2011, Actroid F, also known as Geminoid F, was released. While I hope they never develop an Actroid capable of taking the place of YouTubers such as myself, I suppose I'll just have to wait and see if I eventually lose my job to these robots too. Children like to play with dolls, but in Japan, the majority of the Japanese population believes that dolls are actually living beings with souls. <laughs> Japanese people are obsessed with dolls and robots, and we can see it as far back as the Edo period. From the 15th to 17th century, approximately 500 years ago, there were the Karakuri robot dolls, which were found in the houses of feudal lords as the luxury toys for pure entertainment. These ancient robots were a part of Japanese tradition, and they didn't need electricity to work. Instead, they used gravity, mechanical gears, springs, and strings in a clever way to allow them to make movements. These mechanical robot dolls were built entirely from wood. They could also act as puppets and be controlled by a set of cams and levers. This is the most famous robot servants are the Karakuri dolls that carry a cup of tea, bow in front of you to give respect, and when you remove the cup, automatically stops. The complex methods of creating these sophisticated dolls is mentioned in an ancient book that is known as Kiko Zu and was written by Katakori Hanzo. Some believe that as robots are becoming stronger, they are becoming more terrifying with each passing day. These people believe that robots could be a big threat for humanity. But others see incredible potential and even believe we could one day become cyborgs with HAL robotic exoskeletons in order to fight out of control robot monsters. In reality, we may not be as far away from this cyborg future as we think. This hybrid assistive limb was developed by Tsukuba University and the robots company Cyberdyne. Dr. Yoshiyuki Sankai started this work in the 1990s. In the first three years, he located the position of the neurons that are responsible for leg movements. 
The next four years after that were spent in the development of the first prototype of an HAL suit, which was bulky. However, after continuous improvements, the Cyberdyne team was able to reach its most refined model, the HAL-5, that weighs just 10 kilograms, 22 pounds, including all its components. Originally, Dr. Sangai developed this suit for people with physical disabilities. By October 2012, HAL suits were in use in 130 medical facilities and nursing homes across Japan. Aside from its medical use, it can also be used on construction sites, for disaster response work, and of course, we may even use this suit in the future wars against Terminator-like robots. But all jokes aside, how do the suits work? The answer is simple. When the wearer shows intention to move his or her muscles, the receptors attached to the skin surface detect the electrical signals that are being released from the brain to neurons in the leg. This world's first cyborg suit is available for rent for a monthly fee of 2,000 US dollars. Many Japanese cars are small, but the hopes of the Japanese are incredibly big. Perhaps one day, they will even be ready to fight a next-generation war against aliens and Terminator-like robots. To meet this huge warrior robot, you have to visit Gundam Factory Yokohama, which is located right on the water of Yokohama's Yamashita Pier. This is the 18-meter tall RX-78F00 Gundam model, which is the world's first ever full-scale movable Gundam. It was created for the special occasion of Gundam's 40th anniversary. Currently, it holds two Guinness World Records for being the largest mobile humanoid robot and largest mobile Gundam. This 60-foot tall and 25-ton heavy robot is the new guardian of Yokohama City. The hands of Gundam are 6.5 feet long from the fingertips to the wrist, which houses 18 flexible knuckles for smooth hand and limbs movement. The body of this Robo Guardian has 24 moving joints in the body to perform movements like head rotation, picking up and putting down the legs, and moving forward. If you want to marvel at its beauty, then buy a ticket, go to the sixth floor, and enjoy the show. After that, you can also refresh yourself with a coffee from the local Gundam Cafe. You'll be shocked to know that 300 million people worldwide are suffering from depression and around 792 million people are suffering from anxiety. Those are terrifying numbers. Unfortunately, the rate of suicide cases in Japan is also high. To combat these terrifying problems that can occur in part due to loneliness, a good friend might be needed at home. Introducing a loving, friendly companion, Lovat. When you feel empty, it will come to you and ask you for a sweet hug. And you better hug it, okay? Its cuteness is a scientific marvel that is concentrated in its big eyes. When you cradle it in your arm, you will feel like you are carrying a cute toddler who has fallen asleep. These cuties will eat electricity from a charging station when they feel hungry and store it inside lithium-ion stomach. They are powered by 10-core CPU, which comes with a Kanasawa top, a microphone, and a camera. There are a total of 50 sensors on its body, including microcontrollers, pressure sensors, obstacle sensors, and even heat and humidity sensors. Talk about a marvel of engineering, and all of it designed to help those who need a little love and support in their lives. Even though the human brain is incredibly advanced, the average human baby takes 9 to 18 months on average to learn how to walk. In addition, other motor tasks like balancing on and riding a bike can be time-consuming at first. But when we visit a Japanese company called Murata Manufacturing, 
we can see the robots that are making progress in balancing beyond our imagination. In 1999, Murata Boy was born at Murata Manufacturing. Not only could he ride a bicycle both forwards and backwards, but he could also maintain his balance while fully stopped. Thanks to his ultrasonic sensor, he can identify obstacles and easily cross a terrifying, narrow balance beam without falling. In 2008, over a decade later, Murata Girl was born at Murata 2. She was born to follow Murata Boy wherever he goes while maintaining a certain distance. Most interestingly, Murata Girl was even more advanced with her awesome sense of balance, which was demonstrated by her ability to maintain her balance while riding a mono wheel on a 2 cm narrow, curve shaped pathway. After 2013, Murata Boy and Murata Girl got married. And so, in 2014, a lot of children were born at Murata Manufacturing. These children are full of energy and curiosity. They are natural cheerleaders. These cheerleaders are 36 centimeters tall, weigh 1.5 kilograms, and are capable of dancing as a group. They use gyro sensors which maintain their center of gravity directly above the ground and ball. Thanks to ultrasonic sensors and infrared rays, they can move swiftly in any direction and they don't crash into each other. These types of flawless, synchronized movements are something many of you likely never expected to see so soon.